Welcome to Gentle Yoga. This is Leo Bray filling in for Kristen today. On behalf of Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center, Palm Springs, visit us online at urbanyoga.org or on Facebook at Kristen Olson Urban Yoga Center to check out the schedule and to stop by the tip jar and make donations to support our online classes. We'll start today sitting. You don't have to sit exactly how I'm sitting. Sit or kneel in a way that's comfortable for you. I'm sitting on the front edge of two blocks next to each other, and that's what's working for me today. Helps to tilt the pelvis forward and open the front of the hips. But just do what's right for you. You can close your eyes if you like. And let's just focus on the breath as we settle into our comfortable stillness. Inviting the breath to go slower and go deeper. Taking in the movements and sensations of the breathing. And taking in your surroundings in whatever ways they're reaching your senses. And turning inward again, scan your body head to toe, take in whatever sensations are present in that body. Especially noting any sensations that you wish were different, any stiffness or soreness that's showing up. Maybe think of sending some breath into those places to help them out. And we make these mental notes to help us find the practice that's best for each of us. They're always free to skip or modify any part of what I'm offering. And if you wish to set a specific intention for your own practice today, you can do that at this time. Take a few breaths to let that come together and take root. And let's take three deep cleansing breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth with a sigh. You can let your eyes open if they're still closed. And let's bring the arms to hang loose at our sides. Lift your left shoulder towards your ear and slide it back, let it down, and then the right up and back and down. Let your chin come down towards your chest. Start to roll your head in gentle, slow circles. Try to let the arms and shoulders remain passive. Let's let those arms hang. And if you find any tight places, you can pause in making circles to rock back and forth at the tight spots. And let's change the direction.
And when you finish the next circle, lift your chin, face forward. Bring your arms out to the sides and just rest your fingertips on the floor to stay long in your spine. Inhale, lift your left arm up alongside your head. Exhale, reach across to the right, lean into the right hand. Let your head hang out wherever your neck feels most comfortable. Inhale to come upright. As you exhale, let's come into a twist. Bring the left hand to the floor behind you and your right hand to your left leg. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, see about twisting some more. Working your way up from the waist. Just find a sufficient twist. It doesn't have to be the deepest you could do. Let your twist unwind. Then inhale, raise your right arm up. As you exhale, reach to the left. Inhale to come up. And as you exhale, come into your twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the And let this twist unwind. Let's shift up onto our hands and knees. However, you want to get there, maybe you tip forward like that, or maybe you tip to one side. Reach back and press into the ball of your right foot. On an inhale, pick the foot up and reach straight back. On the next inhale, reach your left arm out to the side. Then bend your knee, reach back. See if you can take hold of your foot or ankle, kick against your hand, raise your knee and your chin. And if you can't take hold of your foot or ankle, it's okay. Release the bind if you've got it, let your knee and your hand down. Take a few cow cat breaths. Inhale, bring your heart forward, let your head and tail go up. Exhale, draw your heart up, let your head and tail come down. And after your next exhale, come back to your table and reach back, press into the ball of your left foot. On an inhale, pick your foot up, reach straight back. On an inhale, raise your right arm to the side. Bend your knee, reach back and see about that bind. Release, lower down, and take those pound cat breaths in. And after the next exhale, let's make our way to forward fold. I'm going to use my blocks here. Give myself more clearance between torso and the floor to step one foot forward and then the other and hang out in your fold. Soft knees, heavy head, heavy arms, sway back and forth, alternately bending and lengthening the leg. So you could just keep the blocks under your hands while you do that. Get your lower back acting up like mine. 
<laughs> See, I set them aside and then I change my mind. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, back down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach out to the sides. As you exhale, reach for your shoulder blades and hug yourself, or if you like, take ego arms, if that's in your practice. And then if you're an ego, reach forward and up. Like so. On an inhale, spread your wings again. And on the exhale, cross the opposite way. Have a hug or have another ego. Inhale, open up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, out and up. Interlace your fingers, turn your palms up, reach your palms up, look up towards your hands, lift your heart. Inhale to bring yourself upright. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down. Need a sip of my water. Hydrate whenever you need to. <laughs> Inhale, out and up. Exhale, fold down. Now we're going to take a bind here from a forward fold. It's usually aimed at hamstrings, and certainly it'll stretch the hamstrings, but there's also help the lower back. So you're going to bend your knees a lot and reach behind your legs and hold your elbows in each hand. So your belly's resting on your thighs, head's hanging heavy. Start to lengthen your leg just gradually, not looking to straighten them or lock them. Lengthen them to whatever degree you want the edge of your comfort zone. And we spend about a half minute doing this, which might seem like a long time, but it can do wonders for lengthening those tight muscles and hamstrings and lower back. Just let the breath keep flowing. Having your belly pressed to your thighs does limit <laughs> the depth of your breath. Release your hands, let them hang. Inhale, the halfway up. Exhale down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Now, hopefully, standing up from that fold was easier than the previous one, and maybe coming into the next one will be easier too. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift that way. Exhale down. Rest your hands on the floor or the blocks. Step your left foot back to run this arm. And then you can either sweep your arms forward to stand or press your hands to your right leg. Let your arms help you stand up that way. Find steadiness here. If you feel a little wobbly, maybe widen the stance. You can also let the back knee down, untuck the back toes and do a lower lunge. You can change your mind and do that anytime. Bring your arms up. You can always bring one hand to this leg too for steadiness. Exhale, sink forward in your hips, bring your arms down. Inhale, glide back, bring your arms up. Just follow your own breath two more time. Then from the top of the movement, let's twist. Reach your left hand back, 
Reach your right hand forward or drop it to your knee as needed. And let's play a little with the reverse. Inhale, tip back and reach up. If you want, you don't have to do the reverse. Maybe it seems too crazy today. If you reverse, level off, arms parallel to the ground again. If you wobble, that means you're human. Come through center, hand by your heart, and then twist to your right. Everybody wobbles. <laughs> if you want, you can reverse this one too. It's trickier than the other one, but it can be done sometimes. I'm not going to be surprised if anybody falls, including me. Let's level off. Come through center. Exhaling, bring your hands down. Then step your right foot back to your left. Now we got and pedal your feet up and nod your head a bit and then shake your head a bit. And now bend your knees, look forward, exhale, step forward. You now lift halfway. Exhale, hold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift that weight. Exhale, down. Plant your hands and step your right foot back. On this one. And when you're ready, inhale, lift your torso. And when you're steady, lift your arms. And when you're ready, exhale, sink forward. Inhale, glide back. And from the top of the movement, twist to the right. If you want, you can reverse and down to the back, reach up. Come out if you reverse. Come through center. Twist to the left. If you like, reverse again. Beautiful. Come out. Come through center. Exhaling, hands down. Step back to down dog. Take three cleansing breaths. We come gently down to child pose for half a minute. Observe your breath, scan your body, bury your child's pose, however you like, of course. Giving my shoulders a break by reaching my hands back by my feet instead of reaching them forward. Inhale, come forward and up to the table. When you're ready, exhale, back and up to down. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift that way. Exhale, down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands up. A couple sun salutations, simple inhale up, exhale down, inhale half lift, exhale down. Go back to your plank. If you want a shorter plank, go for it. Let your knees down. 
On an exhale, lower halfway or all the way, yogi's choice. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Exhale, back and up. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands behind. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. Step back to plank. When you're ready, exhaling, lower. Inhaling, open your heart. Exhale, back and down. And let's add in some IT band stretching here. Inhale, raise your right leg up. As you exhale, lower it and cross the ankles. In the right pinky toe, over by the left pinky toe. Bend the left knee, send the right heel towards the floor. So this is for the right IT band. In case the sensation isn't telling you that. <laughs> Inhale, raise that right leg. Exhale, lower, straight down. Other side, inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale and cross the ankles, pinky toes meet up. Bend the right knee, send the left heel down. Inhale, lift that leg. Exhale, lower straight down. Walk your hands back to your feet. Just a little variety. Crown in, why not? And now lift halfway. Exhale, fold. And now all the way up. Exhale, hands to the And after I have some water, we'll play with some balancing. We're going to play with tree and then warrior three. And if you like to have the support of a wall or some furniture nearby for your balance, step over by your favorite support. So we're going to, on each side, do tree and then transition into warrior three. Do the two poses on the other side. Bring your hands to your heart and shift your weight from one leg to the other. Keep playing. And let the weight come into your left leg. Raise your right knee. Maybe your thighs parallel to the floor. Open the gate of your hip and knee out to the side. And bring right foot to left leg. You could have the ball of your foot on the ground, heel on the ankle, or sole on the calf, or on the thigh. Just please never on the side of your knee. And do whatever you like with your hands and arms. They can stay here. Press into the center for stability or exploring as you like. Playing with movement or aiming at stillness. Make your hands are elsewhere, bring them back to your heart. And pivot your knee forward. I find this a fun transition. Reach the right foot forward. We're going to tip forward in slow motion and come off the left foot onto the right. And reach the left foot up and back. Make sure your torso and left leg parallel to the ground. Maybe the arm in the Now you could have the wall of the furniture to grab onto. You could have blocks standing up here under your hands. I didn't put my blocks there. You can keep your hands to heart or explore reaching back. Reaching out to the sides, reaching forward. You can start over any time. Maybe you decide to come out, or maybe it just happened. Keep breathing. Exhale, lower your foot. Inhale, slowly stand. Take those legs and anything else you want to before we do that all again. The other way around. 
And this yogi needs another pair. <laughs> Starting the same way, hands to heart. Shifting way back and forth a few times to reset everything. When you're ready, bring the weight into your right leg. Lift that left knee, take your time. Open the gate of your hip and then bring your foot to the right leg. Do whatever you want with your arm. If your hands are elsewhere, bring them back to your heart. And here we go, pivot the left knee forward, extend the left foot forward, and tip forward in slow motion onto the left foot. Lift the right, reach back. Whatever expression is calling you with your hands in the heart. Exhaling, let your foot down. Inhaling, roll to standing. Shake as needed. Drink as needed. And let's have a seat. Give those legs a break. First, let's extend legs forward and flex feet back. Then inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull forward, allowing your knees to bend as needed, if needed. I guess if needed is included in your inhale. When you inhale, think of coming forward some more. When you exhale, think of lowering down some more. Inhale and walk your hands up the front of your legs. Sit yourself up. Use your arms to nudge your legs apart. And we're going to fold again. You could walk your hands down your legs or rest your hands at center, walk them forward along the mat, or have a block under your hand. Walk forward. This is the one that's working for me with this lower back, left hip piece that I've got going on. Let your neck disengage. Breathe into your back or wherever you feel some tightness. Think you're sending the breath down. Inhale and walk your hands back and lift your torso. 
using the arms to help the legs. Nudge them towards each other and bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet together, leaving a big space between the heels and the pelvis. Then you can reach over in the front of your ankles or reach under your ankles. Walk your hands forward along the mat. Again, let the neck release. And again, breathe in your back or wherever tightness registers. Inhaling, walk your hands back, sit up. Keep your feet together and bring them in closer. Bring your heels towards your pelvis. Hold your toes in between the hands here and release your finger. Wriggle on your seat, shift the sitting bones closer to the ground. Put the pelvis forward, open the hips. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips with a long spine. And let's just see how far gold goes with the spine long. Doesn't matter where it is, wherever it stops coming forward, then let your neck go, let your head drop, breathe into your hips. Inhale, slowly sit up. Bring your hands to the outsides of your knees. Like closing the book, nudge your knees up towards each other, rest your feet on the floor. Reach your arms forward alongside your knees. Sit back as far as you can without lifting your feet or tripping over. Nice long spine. Lift your feet a little bit. Keep breathing. Anytime in the sequence, you can bring your hands to your legs and let your arms support the legs if you want to. Lift your feet half as high as you can. This is another one. Shaking means you can. <laughs> Lift those feet as high as you can. Keep breathing. Aren't you glad you don't have to talk while you do it? Lower about halfway. Lower most of the way, not all the way, if you can help it. And let your feet down. Bring your hands behind you. Lean into your hands. Wiggle your feet out by the edges of the mat. Let your knees dance back and forth. You can turn your head to the opposite side as your knees go back and forth. And it doesn't matter how far your knees go, see how far they want to go. What do you feel like today? Usually, when I don't have an issue going on in my hips, <laughs> my knees go down to the floor, and today they're not even close. It is what it is. 
Bring your feet about hip width apart, come down onto your forearms, and down onto your back. Set up for bridge pose, heels in close to your butt. Maybe you can reach down and touch your heels with your fingertips. If you have blocks, you're welcome to put a block between your knees on the middle position, keeping those knees hip width apart. When you're ready, press into your feet. Inhale to lift your hips up. Keep breathing. If you want a deeper heart opener, clasp your hands under you. Reach your knuckles towards your heels. Wriggle your shoulder blades towards each other. Head resting on the floor, neck, relax, whether you're taking the bind or not. If you're taking that bind, release your hands. Exhale slowly, lower your hips. Float up and down a few times at your own pace, inhaling up and exhaling down. And next time you lower down, pause. We're going to work in some floating bridge. So if you do have blocks, you can take the other block between your hands on the long position. If you don't have blocks, you can just rest your hands on your knees. The blocks just act as spaces here. So first, just the arm movement. Inhale, raise your arms up. And let them keep going where your hands come down to the floor back here. I'm a little too close to the wall, so I do a funny scoop. Give myself more room. On an exhale, bring your arms forward. Bring your hands back to your knees. Now we do that arm movement with the bridge movement. Inhale, lift your hips, float your arms up and back. And exhale, lower your hips, float your arms forward and back. I need to scoot more. Just continue at the base of your own breath. And if you want to spend extra breaths at the top or the bottom of the movement, you can. You can challenge yourself more by slowing down or lifting higher. Pause after the next exhale. Next time you lower down, let's take supported grip. Lift your hips up. Put a block under the base of your spine. Come down to rest on it. If you don't have blocks, you can use a pillow, a towel, a blanket, fold it or hold up. In a pinch, you can stack your hands, palms down, and just rest your sacrum on the back of your hand. I'm just taking a minute to allow your body to Soften down around that support and bring some nice release in the hips and all of that.
And let's come out. Inhale, lift your hips one last time. Slide the block up from underneath. Exhale and slowly let your hips down. Move those props out of the way. Draw your knees to your chest, hug your knees. Rock and roll from the side of your back against the floor. And let's have some energizing twists. Let your right foot down on the floor, cross your left ankle above your right knee. Reach arms to the sides, palms up. Keeping shoulders grounded, let your legs fall to the right and then turn your head to the left. Let your breath bring you out. Just let the legs hang and see where they want to go. Don't push them down. And gently bring your head and leg back up center. Cross your legs the opposite way. And start to twist the opposite way. Nice and easy, come back up to center and cross your legs. And draw your knees in, reach your feet up, reach your hands up to grab your legs or feet however you like, and play with bending and straightening your arms and legs. You can have the baby pose. If there's some other inversion you prefer, go for it and for it however you want.
You have you feel complete with inverting, you can make your way to Shavasana. Any resting pose that's comfortable for you, because maybe both pose isn't comfortable today. So you're welcome to conclude your practice in any posture where you're comfortable. Closing your eyes if you like. Maybe focusing on the breath. Maybe recalling and focusing on the intention you had for your practice. Maybe just giving yourself permission not to bother focusing.
start taking some deeper breath. And exploring movement little by little. Letting your movements grow bigger and bigger. Moving gently, mindfully. When you're ready, you can sit yourself up. Spread your hands by your heart. Thank you for coming together and sharing your practice today. The light within me sees and honors that same light within you. Namaste.